Yes, welcome to My Virgin Kitchen, folks. It's Barry here. Today, we are making some absolutely gorgeous Nutella cupcakes. Shiver me timbers indeed. Requested by Glitter Girl. If you'd like to have a go, you're gonna need the following ingredients and the full method and all the detailed stuff is on my website, myvirginkitchen.com. Let's get going. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with a large mixing bowl. And first of all, we'll combine all our dry ingredients together. So this is some plain flour, uh, also known as all-purpose flour, for all purposes. And caster sugar. In this shot glass is a mixture of baking powder and bicarbonate soda, about half a teaspoon of each. Little mixy mix. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our wet. This is some room temperature butter. Get that in there, it's gonna make the next step very easy. In goes the sour cream. Oh yeah, straight from the tub. In goes the Nutella. Now this has been warmed in the microwave just so it comes out a lot easier. Hence me holding a tea towel because I don't want to burn my hands. A Little bit of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. And the last thing in Phoebe's old bowl <laughs> is free egg whites. Amazing times. And all we're gonna do is just give this a darn good mix together and that will make all of the batter that we need. Alrighty, we're nearly there. Loving that color change, but there's still a few lumps of butter. We'll keep working those through and we'll be done. Alrighty, I'm happy with the batter now. So what we've got is a lined cupcake tray with some cases in it. And all we're doing is spooning that mixture in there using two smaller spoons. Try and get the batter about just over halfway over there. If you really wanted to ramp up the hazelnutness, I don't even know if that's a word, hazelnutness, but you could add nuts in to the batter at this stage. Okie dokie then folks, they're going in there for 20 minutes on the middle shelf. Now remember, we do not want to burn those cupcakes, so do keep your eyes on them uh, while they're baking. 20 minutes is a rough guide. Don't physically put your eyes on them, but you know what I'm saying. The good news is we can crack on by making our Nutella frosting. All right, Nutella frosting, very similar steps again. We've got a bowl of icing sugar there, aka confectioner sugar. This is some warmed Nutella again. We're just gonna get that in there. Extremely tempted to just eat it all off the spoon right here, but it'll be worth the wait. Drop of vanilla essence. And again, ooh, that was a bit niggly. Uh, some room temperature butter. All we're gonna do is merge it together by mixing it relatively slowly. Don't mix it too fast or ice and sugar will go everywhere and it will look really cool, but you won't have any frosting. The smell of these is incredible. Straight from the oven. I'm just gonna let them cool there just for the moment. The frosting is now done, ready and waiting. The cupcakes have been transferred to this tray. And just over here, I've left one actually in the tin still because it doesn't move so much there. And this is why. Because folks, what we can do is using the tin and just still holding it a little bit because it will rotate, is cut out a little circle in these cupcakes and then get the tray to help you to spin it around and go in at an angle like this. And it should, well hey, pop out. We've got ourselves a cord cupcake with a lid. And then if you've got any leftover Nutella, I know that's a phrase you don't hear very often, leftover Nutella, you can spoon it in like this. Of course, you could do the frosting as well, if you haven't got any Nutella there. And then just sit your lid back on top. So you can leave it as it is like that, or frost it. Thinking about it, if you wanted to replace the Nutella with some wasabi, that would make a great prank. And I didn't tell you to do that. Here we go then, folks, the moment of truth. Now remember, I'm self-taught, and I absolutely hate piping. So if I can do this, you definitely can. All we're gonna do is just pipe on those cupcakes and we might give it a cheeky little finish with some hazelnuts. There you go, just a sprinkle of chopped hazelnuts on top to finish. That is looking good. All this decorating is pretty hard work. I think I better eat one. I've just undressed the cupcake, and yes, in this instance, it is the right term to use. Mm. Mm. You naughty thing, that tastes absolutely stonking. I really hope you give it a go. If you do, uh, send me a picture at My Virgin Kitchen on Twitter and Instagram. And if you have a request, just like Glitter Girl, let me know on all the social media and also in the comments down below. I've done some other Nutella recipes, so check out the links. And that's about it, guys. So uh, have a go at this. Good luck, all that stuff, and I'll see you next time.